Um, so I wanted to talk tonight a little bit about fossils that are found in the ground. And um, I guess I'll start a little bit about what the fossils actually are and then go into um, a little bit about the composition and what they end up being when everything is said and done. Um, so a fossil is not actually a piece of bone. A fossil is actually um, a bone that was once in the ground that has been then filled with limestone, calcium, and other kind of stone-like deposits over the course of many, many years. And at the end of the day, it ends up looking like a bone, but it's not really a bone. It's really a rock inside of rock. So you have a rock this big, and you say, okay, inside this rock this big, there's a bunch of fossils. Here you go. And you hand the rock off to a paleontologist, and the paleontologist takes a little mallet, and they chip away at it, and at some point they come out with something looking like a bone, and that's a fossil. So um, here's the question that I pose. Now, the first fossil that was ever found was actually after they came up with the idea of a dinosaur, right? That seems a little bit far-fetched, right? Why would the bone that was found or the fossil that was found actually be the exact same thing as what was originally hypothesized without any other evidence? It doesn't make any sense. So now I give to you. Here, you're my paleontologist. Turn that into what it was before I ripped it apart. Here. You can have some spackle too. As much spackle as you want. Here, turn this into what it's supposed to be. All right. Who knows what you're going to come up with, right? Now, here, take this same substance, this same spackle, and by the way, it's supposed to be this little guy, Brachiosaurus, who's 40 meters tall. This is what he looks like. This is what the head was supposed to look like. This is a Brachiosaurus skull. Make me a Brachiosaurus skull. With that and as much stack as you please. Chances are, what are you going to come up with? If you want to keep your job, you come up with a Brachiosaurus skull. If you want to be truthful, you come up with whatever it was that I smashed apart to get this stuff. When millions of dollars are on the line, which one are you going to do? My guess is you're going to go with the Brachiosaurus. That's where the money is. Um, so I hope this was insightful for what happens on a daily basis in the world of paleontology. Thank you very much for listening, and I will see you next time.